Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's good wherever you are. So guys, there's news that there's going to be an Anue v Donaire rematch. Now, there's been a lot of confusion. You know, we knew we know that Casemiro was supposed to fight Donaire. Everybody was pumped for that fight. And for some reason, that fight just fell through. I don't know whether it was a, whether they were never going to have that fight. I don't, I don't know what, what happened here. It was just a con complete, total breakdown of a fight that seemed all done. And the fight just fell through. The fight just fell through and um, left everyone disappointed. Because I think it was a unification fight. And it was a fight between two Filipinos that we were actually quite looking forward to. I think it was quite a fight that, for me, had it generated a lot of interest between two guys from the same country. And normally the smaller weight class fight, you know, the fights at the smaller weight classes don't really generate that interest. I don't even think it was as big as the Donaire Anue fight first time. Um, Donaire obviously disappointed the fight didn't happen. And then you're thinking, where's he going to go? And now we're hearing that in November or October, there could be, or I think it's November and December, there could be a rematch between the two. And now I know the, the, the first time they thought it was actually November, and I must say, it was one of the best fights I ever saw. Uh, it was definitely a back-to-back -back epic fight. Anue was hurt. He, we know that he suffered a broken eye socket in that fight. He got through it. You know, he hit Denair with a body shot, put, you know, Denair down. Denair toughed it out. And, you know, Denair gave, um, you know, gave Anue his toughest fight. And it was it was very tough for, um, very, very tough for Anue in that fight. And I would like to see a rematch because I think Donaire's got a win. He's a champion and it's a unification fight. Can Donaire, you know, avenge that loss that he had? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Th I don't think he can. I just think Anoue is too fresh. And I think you're going to see an even better Anoue now. Uh, whereas I'm not sure Donaire can get any better. And possibly, who knows? You know, he seems like he's getting better with age. You know, he is, he is definitely turning back the time, turning back the clock. But... I, I do favour Anue in a rematch. A lot of people seem to think that, you know, Anue will stop him this time. Uh, I'm not sure. Donaire's a very tough cookie. And, he, and he, one thing I noticed about the fight when they fought last time is that Donaire was a lot bigger than Anue. And um, when you're a lot bigger than someone, you're jaw a bit, you can take their shots a lot better. And also, you know, when Donaire's walking him down and landing those big shots, there's always a chance that he could hurt some of these smaller guys. Because one thing we know about Donaire, Donaire had serious power. And it's still got serious power. And you, we saw in the last fight, he basically just battered um, Obali. He completely ragdolled him and battered him. Um, and Obali was supposed to be a favourite. He was supposed to be, a, you know, a guy that beats Donaire. But Donaire was just too strong. Was just too strong, too big. And he basically... Bullied him, bullied him and beat him, you know, uh, he just, it was a great performance by Denaire. So again, I'm not going to be writing Denaire off. Denaire's starting to become a bit like Pacquiao. We just can't write him off, you know. And, and the thing is, I think what's helping him is that he's at this lower weight class and he's bigger than a lot of the guys there. Denaire's seriously bigger than virtually everyone there. You know, when I saw him in with Anue and Obali, the size difference is massive. The size difference is huge in there. So... That plays a big part because at the end of the day, Donaire's a very skilled fighter himself. And then he's bigger than a lot of the guys. It's making it very difficult for those guys. And like I said, Anoue is probably the best in that division. And we saw how tough the fight was when Donaire fought him the first time. You know, Anoue could have lost that fight. You know, Anoue was in trouble. You know, there was times in that fight where Donaire hurt him. But Anoue managed to, you know, tough it out. Otherwise, I, there was times in that fight I was I was worried for Anoue. I thought, you know, Donaire's going to have him here. You know, because Donaire just looked so physically bigger and he looked so imposing whenever he was coming forward. He looked dangerous. And Donaire has, like, when he walks you down, he's very physically imposing, especially the fact that he's bigger than these guys. So he can take a lot of what they're dishing out, but he knows he can hurt them. And Donaire's always, as we know, that left hook of his. You know, and in that fight against Anoui, I believe he hurt Anoui with a right hand. He didn't really land his left hook flush. I can't remember any. I can't remember him landing a flush left hook. Otherwise, Anoui might have gone down. You know, but it, I remember him landing a right hand that staggered Anoui. And now we know that, you know, Anoui suffered broken eye sockets in that fight. Fracture. I think he fractured, you know, an orbital bone. So this is what I mean. Anoui had a very tough fight against um, Denaire. And this is not going to be an easy fight. I know people expect Anoue to do the win again. 
But I do not see this fight being an easy fight by any stretch. I think Anuwe, I think, I think Dene is too good and too tough. And it feels to me he's hungry as well. And, you know, if he's a bit like Pacquiao where I think he lives the life. He, you know, he lives right, eats the right stuff. Yeah, I, I, think he, I think he's living well. He's living like how an athlete should live. And this is what he said. He goes, he goes if a 39-year-old is living well, doing all the right things, it's just as good, if not better, than a young guy that's not living well. Obviously, if a young guy is living well, doing all the right things, training hard, then the young guy should beat the older guy, even if the older guy, because at the end of the day, the older guy's getting older, his body, get, you get slowed down. Doesn't matter what you're eating, doesn't matter what you're, how you're training, your body's going to slow down. Your body's going to slow down. And if a young guy is working hard and eating the right stuff and doing all the right stuff, he's going to beat you if he's, his skill level is on the same level. And I think with Anuwe, that's what you've got. But here's what makes this fight interesting is the fact that Anuwe is a lot smaller than Dene. So Dene's size and strength and power could show up on Anuwe because Anuwe is a smaller man. And as we saw in the first fight, you know, there was a lot of rocky moments for Anuwe. So definitely a fight that I'm looking forward to. Definitely a fight that I think is going to be intriguing and going to be one that's fun to watch. And it's most importantly, it's one good for the fans because it's going to be competitive. It's going to be competitive. It's by no means an easy match for uh, Anuwe. And that's what we want to see. We want to see fan-friendly fights that have, um, that have competitive, you know, that are competitive, that, you know, we get to see good scraps. So leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Who do you think wins this fight if this rematch goes down? You know, will Anuwe knock Denair out in the rematch or will Denair get his revenge? I, I don't, I think Anuwe is a, a favourite, but by no means is this, is he a firm favourite or he's odds on. This is a very tough fight and it wouldn't shock me if it goes the other way, you know, but that's just my opinion. Leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think and guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.